So after installing the Chrome OS with the Google Play Store support, uh, you must be wondering how we can update it like we have installed it through branch. In this video, I have shown two methods. The first one is a long and manual method and the second one is a shorter and more simpler method. So let's get started with the first one. So we will first visit this uh, website and we need to go to the update branch section and from here we will download the latest branch framework so go to the site and download the latest version and make sure to take note of the version so this is 103 and we will also download the recovery file for your respective uh, OS that you have already installed so I have installed this Zork so I will search for it and uh, in the previous video you have seen how to install like download the images so right now it is not available here so we will be redirected to this site and we will search our uh, like device name here as well and from here we need to download the the latest version but uh, you need to make sure the branch version and the chrome os versions uh, are similar this makes it more likely to boot and cause no issues so it is recommended that both the branch and chrome os are the same version so we will let it download after it has finished downloading we need to open the file and we will extract the recovery file so the dot bin file we will extract it you can see the progress at the bottom so after it has extracted what we need to do is copy the bin file that we have got and uh, just paste it in the downloads folder so the branch file and the bin file are in the same folder now we need to rename this uh, bin file to something shorter so uh, so it is easier to copy and paste so you can just remove some part of the name the front part and the last part Now we will open the Chrome OS terminal. So we will press the Ctrl, Alt and plus T. So this will open up in a new tab. And here we need to type shell. Now we are ready to type some command. So this is the command that we need to copy. Then we will paste it in the terminal. And we need to edit the name of the recovery. So use the arrow keys and just delete the recovery.bin and we will replace it with the actual file name that we downloaded you can use the rename option to see the name of the file and then copy it then just paste it where the cursor is blinking and use the arrow keys to also delete the branch file name and we will also similarly we will replace it with the file name that we downloaded Make sure you include all the extensions as well. So now make sure everything is right and then just press the enter key and it will take a while but the installation will start. And now we can just simply restart our device and we can check in the settings that our device has been successfully uh, updated. So that was the manual method and it's a long method because you need to download all the files. Now let us check out the second method which is going to be a shorter method. So you need to first restart your system and here we will select the Chrome OS settings. Now you can just press the enter key to start the configuration and just set your kernel to be default and press the enter. Here use the downward arrow to go to the PWA option and use the spacebar to select it then press enter and now we can just keep on skipping it by pressing enter and enter again do not select anything just use enter to skip and here also do not type yes just skip with the enter key and again press the enter key now we can finally reboot our system by pressing any key 
the first boot after doing these changes may take some time and after we have rebooted we need to go to this link which i will put in the description and you can install it as a pwa app so you can access it from the app launcher using this interface we can update both the chrome os as well as the branch and as soon as the latest updates arrives you can see the version number down here so make sure like uh, both the chrome os and branch updates are similar version and then you can just click on the download option you can see it says up install the branch update just click on it and it will automatically download it and then update start the update process and you can just simply reboot your system and it will update your chrome os similarly you can also update the chrome os after you have updated the branch and uh, it will then again restart and update your system so this is an automatic process so you do not need to download the update and then manually run it so this is a more easy way to do it so these were the two methods to download and update your chrome os and i hope you like this video and if you find it informative do hit the like button and if you have any questions comment them down below and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching